What the f you Franklin? It's a Kit Kat wrapper. I'm eating a Kit Kat. Is it like a normal Kit Kat? Yeah, it's just a straight up Kit Kat. We're looking at chat confessions today. If I'm having some comfort food, because it's tough. I haven't read most of them. Um, we're definitely going to be skipping a lot of these because some of them just suck. Every now and then, there's like a little gem in there. Y'all have done some vile shit. You know that? Something's wrong with y'all. Now, all of these are going to remain anonymous. The way the form's set up, it's just easier if I look at the answers and don't worry about the names on them. Also, if you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that if you click or tap, will take you to another one like it. Please click it. It would mean so much to me, I would literally cream myself. What would you do if I went to your home and turned? Turns you into a slag. I have no idea what that is. Is that like a British word? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Know. Guys, the cathedral music is starting. If you could all take your seats in today's mass, the confessions will now begin. Welcome to the G, the Church of G Fuel. Is this Halo music? Oh, that would have been a really good. That would have been a really good mix. I just pulled up cathedral mix. I, I cried for one. I, I not cried. I skipped one of these because it was just way too morbid. Some shit I do not want to read on like on stream. I don't think I could read it on stream. But uh, let, let's start off on a light note. Back when I first started college at FSU. I had a super sketch apartment neighbor that I suspected sold drugs, but wasn't sure. I didn't rat him out though, because I didn't care enough and was too worried about school. We were on decent terms throughout my freshman year, until I loaned him my bike that was a going away present from my parents. He told me it had been stolen, but about a month later I saw him riding it out of the complex. I got super pissed and briefly suggested to the landlord that he was selling weed. Turns out when the landlord checked his apartment, he found a good amount of weed and heroin. Needless to say, the police were called, and from what I've heard, he had a sentence of four or five years. I don't know, I didn't have to go to the trials, and I had midterms, so... I mean, yeah, that's one way to fucking get back at him. The, like, I, I don't understand why he, like, that guy would ever cross someone if he, if, like, he's very openly dealing drugs to them. Like, isn't, like, the idea as a criminal is you want to keep your neighbors happy? Like, that's, that's just what I got from, like, organized crime motherfuckers. Did they get their bike back? No idea. Either way, the guy who took it's not gonna be able to use it. It's a little, it's a little petty. But they also stole his bike, so, uh, this one is a bunch of gibberish. I cannot physically read it. This is, like, eight in one. I lied and said my grandma died a few years ago to get off work because I was 16 and couldn't stand working. My manager offered to send refreshments for her funeral and I told her we weren't having one. Next day at work, she brought me flowers and a card and gave me a day off after. A few days later, I called off my shift and quit on the spot crying. I never told my mom I quit, just told her I found a different job and would go to my friend's house when I was working. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, That one is very funny to me. Like, you faked a death because you didn't want to go to work that bad. Like, that that's that's pretty heinous. Well, it's not heinous, it's just like, wow, man, you really pulled that card. No one's ever gonna believe you, like, when you, like, say you have a dead family member now. And, and apparently this was a few years ago, and they're confessing to their sins now. Guys, mods, can you put up a poll? Should this person be forgiven for their sins? Or not. They've, they've poured their heart into the confessional. Should they be allowed to be redeemed? Can they be redeemed? Oh, you guys thought they could be. It, it looks like they made a turnaround. It, for The nose were leading for a very long time. Well, you guys are kind hearts. You have such empathy for the people around you. The chat's confessions are probably worse than all of the confessions you plan to show. I think there was a there was definitely a worse one before this, but I'm just not showing it on purpose. Ah, uh, that one's a little uncomfy. This is not even a confession. This was just like a fucking love letter to me. Not what this was form was for. You fucking wasted my time. Imagine seeing him scroll past your suggestion saying it's boring. It's not the worst insult I've chucked at a chat member, let's be honest. I would wear a Spider-Man costume underneath my clothes so I could fight crime when I was in elementary school and would save the day. Because things would be stolen or go missing and my teachers would praise me for being the best Spider-Man. Little did they know, I was the one who stole stuff, just so I could not only be praised, but they would put me on golden stickers on my name for being such a good helper. I- I- I don't know, man. I think they knew. Like, teachers aren't that fucking stupid. I- I'm imagining just, like, the- the, like, dollar round of stuff you can manage to steal in kindergarten is so low. It probably wasn't that worth it to them to, like, get up your ass about it. I- I don't know. That- that seems- that- like, that's almost kind of cute. That as a kid, you wanted to be Spider-Man so bad, you created the scenarios for it to happen. It would be a good comic run, like fake, like alternate universe Spider-Man, where there's no crime in New York, so he causes it to happen so people keep loving him. Isn't that, isn't that like literally Booster Gold? Recently found out from my childhood friend that the only reason my mom had to get a DNA test to make sure my dad was my dad was because my mom fucked her dad. Right after impregnating his wife with my friend? We were born within three weeks of each other, and are moving in together in the next six months. Oh my god! Hey yo, what the? <laughs> Bro, I, hey, you got a, you got a sibling now, man. Hell yeah! <laughs> your best mate was actually like, it wasn't your brother from another mother. It was a brother from the same mother. Jeez, that's really funny. <laughs> Gee, good grief, man. <laughs> Can the woman be forgiven for adultery? Wait, would it? I, I think I might have misread this. It would still be a brother from another mother. But same father? Can she be forgiven? Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. The council has spoken. No forgiveness.
Gavel knock. Second grade, I buried one of my classmates alive and they weren't found until two hours later. I only buried them because they took me my animal crackers that ended up being expired anyways. You tried to commit murder at age, what, six, seven? Guys, can they be redeemed? You know what they say about kids who try to kill animals early on. You skipped the killing your pet stage and went straight for your classmates. Can they be redeemed? How did they do that though? Those sandboxes can go pretty deep, man. His fault for taking the crackers? Good point. That, like, I would say the motivation was solid. All right, seems like we're firmly on the nose by like a three quarters margin. I can't remember most of my own childhood and my brain has replaced most of them, if not all of them with fake memories. You should probably just confess to your doctor about this, man. I used to have a habit of biting myself under stimulation from undiagnosed ADHD, but I didn't want to get in trouble, so I would claim that a ghost slash demon was attacking me, despite the tiny teeth marks on my arm. <laughs> I mean, there's worse excuses. I remember very li vividly, I was drawing spring trap board in class? In class? You were in a place of learning making that shit. You, you were supposed to be thinking about math equations, not spring traps penis. How dare you? And we had a sub that day and I didn't notice that they had come up behind me and they said, Nice fan art. Did you draw that? Oh my god. I, the only, my commentary is very lackluster right now because the only emotions I have are just shock and awe. It's it's a little hard to think to think of something intelligent to say about this shit, man. Brave. Like seriously, you had no shame. I'm, I'm gonna assume you didn't have a lot of social cues at this time. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, say, guys, can this person be redeemed? I'm a, I think this was probably gonna be a middle school thing. This seems like it would be. That means the sub knew who Springtrap was. I mean, was it good art? Yeah, I mean, was it at least anatomically correct Springtrap? trap porn. That's the real question. We need- we, we don't have all the information. So you guys voted yes, they can be redeemed. I'm inclined to agree. When I was eight years old, I put my brother's cat in the microwave and turned it on. I was laughing too much. His head popped I scare, and it scared me, but I still laughed, took his body out, buried him, cleaned the microwave up, and my brother thought he ran away till this day. I never told my family. And you told me. Did Hyojin, did Hyojin submit this? Because I know she's got a few animal kills on her tenure. Like, jeez. That's a joke. She's never done anything on this level. Just like stupid kid curiosity. Nothing like this. Oh my god. Good fucking grief. This was the best idea I've ever had for content, man. Holy shit. Cat, can he be redeemed? Should I even do a poll? Like, fuck no, he can't. Should we even, like, <laughs> there's some people saying redeemable. Like, is it even worth starting a poll? Because the answer is no. One person has voted yes. One person has voted yes. Two people now. Look at this shit. Look at this split. Look at this fucking split. Wash. An absolute wash on the board, man. I'm not even gonna give any more edgelords the opportunity to vote yes on that. <laughs> that's the worst one so far, man. If that's real, that's the worst one. The thing is, he specified the age and that it was his brother's cat. And I mean, we, we really don't have a choice to treat these like they're real unless there's vi they're very obviously and egregiously fake. I didn't know the context, what is happening. These are chat confessions. Another person drawing porn in the middle of class. F what is it with you people? Th you know, this is part of like why, like why I'm glad I get up on art because I, I was like I did not have the skill set to ever do this the worst I could have done was like write fan fiction or some shit given me the opportunity to do this anyways I barely remember when I was a wee little lad talking five to seven maybe I took a fat fucking shit on the big boy toilet and I was like huh wonder if this shit is like play-doh so I reached into the toilet and started playing with my nasty ass shit. Oh my god. A little bit vile. It's a little vile. Like, you just reached in there and squeezed? Like, it-, it you, I'm- I'm keeping this anonymous for your guys' sake. You're- like, you're the- it, it's on you when you bring this out in public. Squunkle, why? <laughs> Dude, fucking chat is on your ass right now, man. I- You didn't have to admit it was you. You didn't have to admit it was you. You had an out, dog. I, I'm sorry, you did this to yourself. Can they be redeemed? for playing with their shit like it was Play-Doh. There it is, there it is. Play-Doh didn't die for this. Holy fuck, th this is a, like a wash, man. Y'all, y'all like we're getting, y'all like let them get away. Y'all let someone get away with uh, like their, their grandma, like faking their grandma's death to get out of work. But no, play, playing with poo is where you draw the line. Fucking scat shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, Scrunkle, you're gonna forever be known as like the poo player from now on in the, in the chat. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's not good. It's very funny though. Guys, it's hard to tell with the way my face looks, but I just jaw drop. When I was six, I would touch my parents' sex toys because I didn't know what they were. So I would be touching dildos as soon as I would get home from school while my parents weren't there. Oh. Your parents failed on multiple levels. How were those ever in a place where you could find them? That is not right. Th that is not the kid's fault, all right? They did not know better. They are the victim here. Guys, can their parents be redeemed for their negligence in this case? If as a parent, you're going to have sex toys, you should treat them like guns. You put them in a locked safe that only you have access to, 
so that only a responsible adult figure can have access to them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Y'all y'all are like, anything you guys spam cannot be worse than the shit we've had to read for the sake of this stream. It is bad. I caught feelings for my former best friend's girlfriend and may have accidentally made her break up with him, but then he turned out to be into drugs so we're no longer friends. Fuck, dude. Jeez. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Like, jeez! Like, you broke them up because you wanted to lay- you wanted to lay that pipe? Goddamn. Back in grade six, I tried dropping scissors on one of my classmates' head from the gym balcony. And it missed, luckily. And he got pissed off because of it. I'm still friends with him, lol. Does he know you tried to kill him? Does he know? Does he know you tried to kill him? Like, did, did you admit that shit to him? And he was like, eh, whatever, we were like, six, in sixth grade or something. Yeah, very fucking luckily, bro. You almost had a case. Fucking little murderers in chat. You know, I, I did a lot of cringy shit in, in, in like, elementary, middle, high school, even, even now. Like, I've done a lot of wince-worthy activity. But I can't say attempted murder is on my list. When I was like eight, I was gaming on my PlayStation and I had to pee and I didn't want to make up noise and wake up my family. So I had a water bottle and you know the rest. You know, I'll say it. I've peed in a water bottle before. I'm not ashamed of that. I think, I, I think we were all curious about if like we could fill up a water bottle with our pee. And if you weren't, well, I'm answering the question. You can very quickly. It was dark and I thought I was petting my dog until I turned the lights on and I realized I was petting his ass and I think I accidentally putted my finger in his ass. Good for, good for you, man. You fingered a dog. Good job. My friend was running around the classroom in fifth grade while I was holding up scissors. He was running in my direction and my scissors almost went into his eye. That's his fault. I watched where he was going. I don't know how old I was, but I stabbed through my hand and told nobody. Now that I'm older, I can't move my index finger and middle finger and I have a scar to prove it. So you like permanently like damaged the nerve endings in your hand and you just like, this is fine. I'll just live with this. There might be like physical therapy you could do and you're just gonna be like, no, I'll live with it. I'm too ashamed to tell people that I stabbed myself as a child. <laughs> tell somebody! Like even now, there's probably at least something you can do. Like there's probably like implements you can get to help with it, man. You're doing yourself a disservice by not telling someone. Was this one made by me? Did I submit this one? I didn't, but it sure feels like I did. I was playing with fire and set my grandma's couch on fire and half the house was scorched and blamed it on my uncle and got off scot-free. Dude, you got your uncle removed from the fucking will. For sure. Oh my god. You ruined your uncle's retirement plans. That's on you. That motherfucker's gonna have to work another 20 years of his life because of what you did. From Florida, never fished or swam. The confession should have just been, I'm from Florida. Embarrassing enough as is. I was literally jerking off before I joined stream. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, yeah, that, and that's, that's the end of the, that's the end of the confessions. Holy fuck. What a journey. Good grief. What is wrong with you people? That cha that has severely affected my relationship with this chat. And hey, if you guys want to see me do it again, did you know I stream on twitch.tv slash quite on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you missed out by not being here live? I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot of fun. Like, as, as traumatizing as it was. Pretty damn funny to read some of those.